Hello, everyone. We're back again. Paul's year two. Make Paul's yeah, great again. Make Paul kids <laughs> great again. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you, Pollard. Great um, way to start off the show. As we're going to start doing at the beginning of every show, our, uh, what's your title, Nick? Official Secretary of Treasury of the Slew Pulse. Official right. Secretary of Treasury of the Slew Pulse is going to give us our bank statement. Let us know <laughs> what's going on. Uh, <laughs> our budget currently consists of 25 cents. <laughs> donated by a great man, Jack Heller. That is not a great Okay, so... Hold on, hold on. We were make that, um, oh, do we have a donation? Make that donation 30, from the crowd? 35 more cents. James Pilardo has just added 35 more cents. Nearly 250% of what our original budget was. <laughs> okay, um, so it's the just topical ones, whatever we want to talk about. We didn't introduce everybody. Oh, yeah, we didn't. Oh, yes. So we have... Uh, Nicholas Petriti, official title is official yes, secretary of treasury of the Sloop Pulse Network. We know. Chuck, yes. <laughs> Slash contributor. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, be on James Paul. Right. And James Storage. Be on the lookout for uh, Chuck and Nick's sloppy special coming soon to the Sloop. That is a next must week, next Thursday. Event. Next trust. Must see event. Must you will, you will must watch. You watch it. So it's gonna be a video. Right? Yeah. So I'm just gonna kind of lay things out for the uh, the few viewers we have. <laughs> Shout out to my mom. Uh, Hi, Mrs. Storgen. Hi, Mrs. Storgen. I've already made that joke last time too. Um, but so on Monday we're gonna be doing again Rich Mahalski's movies, where it'll kind of be like his YouTube page, but he won't be speaking specifically about movie, a, sp a specific movie. He'll be speaking about just what's coming out as a whole, what's on the horizon, things he's looking for and stuff. Wednesday will be Charlie's sports show. It's um, not It's me, Charlie Kenny and Ken. Griffin. Charlie, Ken, and Griffin, Lester, Charlie Chabot, and Ken Bielan are doing a sports show every Wednesday with those three. Maybe different people coming in every now and then. Um, then next Thursday, and once a month on a Thursday, Chuck and Nick's slop sloppy special is gonna be coming out. Trust me, you guys will not want to miss. Nick and Charlie are gonna just. I don't it's know. Gonna be, they're gonna do like a. It's food. gonna be. It's gonna be a heated debate. Chick Fil A versus Canes. That'll be next week. It won't be every time. Yeah, not every time. That, once a month. That's our premiere. So show. yeah, well, and that will be um, will be video video podcasting yes, that one. That course. will be video podcasting because you need to witness that. It'll be in yeah. the car. It'll be great. So that's Tuesday or Thursdays. Uh, once a month, the last week of the month, and then Friday again. It's gonna be just every um, the normal topical whatever we want to talk about on the Fridays. Random people. The Rob Show. I have not talked with Rob Garner yet. Thank you, Nick. You could have said that out loud. Oh, okay. Um, and that can die. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if the phone dies. But The Rob Show, I haven't talked to him, but we're planning on doing it because he was interested in being involved every other Tuesday. And then also we have these two other members, um, Emmanuel and... I just spit it out. Come on, let's Will Lake. Will Lake. No, not Will Lake. Um, Emmanuel. That guy exists, by the way. I, I feel bad. I cannot remember his name. I'm sorry because I know you're listening. Sinjin? No, no, oh. no. And um, you they'll be doing shows, I think, every other Tuesday, too, like the in-between gap for the Rob thing or Thursday or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what the, that's what will be happening. So that's that's what's coming up for you guys to see now what's going on. Okay, who just farted? That was not me. That was Paul. That was not me. That was not me. That was 100% Paul. That was not me. Check the tape. Jeez. We're going to have to roll that back Okay, later. so we're just going to edit that out. I'm going to start things off with... um. With the Cardinals, just it's been it's, no, it's people, sports. This is not the no, sport it's show. topical. Whatever, it's whatever we want to talk want, about, man. And the Cardinals are very prevalent right now. Um, they look dead in the water. They got a strong sweep against the Reds. They're a game and a half out of the wild card, five out of the Central. But the Brewers are playing the Cubs, so either game, either way that goes, it's good for us. So just lots of stuff going on. It's the manager's birthday. Uh, Unfortunately. Just wondering, like, what do you do? You think guys think they're gonna make the playoffs? You know, what do you think? You're gonna are we, are we not gonna say the manager's name? Mike Matheny, MM. No, the, the otherwise known as MM, Manifesto, Leer of Men, Matheneus, others. Or idiot. Yeah, that too. First of all, today I rue every year because it's the day he was born. If he were not born, he would not be a manager. <laughs> if he were not a manager, he would have won at least like two or three more World Series. That's terrible. <laughs> it is true. Charlie, you're off. These, you know what? He, can, he contributed to the team as a player. Does, does anybody remember that iCarly episode where uh, they're like, you're going to rue this Neville. thing? Yes. That's, how I, that's how I learned the word rue. That's how I learned the word rue. That's yeah. how. Because they didn't know what it meant. So they had to like, look Dude, it up. Dude, in that episode too, the parents were trying to like butter off his elbow and he couldn't do it. God, what? And I tried to do it. Yeah, he oh, tried, tried to, to lick, lick the butter off the elbow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, secondly, I, yeah, they got a three-game sweep against the Reds, but I mean, like... It's the Reds. The Reds are not good. 
Can I make a bold prediction? Yeah. Three game sweep against the Cubs and Brewers. Well, it's a four. You heard it here first. It's, it's a, a four game series. series. So. Okay, well, it's, it'll be three to one. <laughs> That's not a sweep. If, if the Cardinals, there's ten games left. The Cardinals go seven and ten. Do they make the? Win? I don't know how they'd go the seven and is, ten with ten games. They, seven and three. Seven, seven and, three. and three. Yeah, they yes. can sweep Cincinnati. They can do what they might do against Pittsburgh. They swept Pittsburgh a few weeks ago. Who would we be? Those playing? are the bad teams. If you want to be, a, you know, want to make the playoffs, you have to beat the bad teams, which we're doing. We have to beat the good teams too. But Cubs in the series, you okay, should have well, won at least one. You got you Cubs. Won zero. I know, but Chuck, you got Cubs and Brewers at home. You're not gonna get swept in a four game series at home. You're not. This is not gonna happen to the Cardinals. Well, I'm just saying, like when we, we beat the good teams, or we beat the bad teams, which we should, but. When the good teams come in town, I know. Mike Matheny's like, get some juice boxes because, you know, we need to have circle time after the game. <laughs> Chose. <laughs> no, but Pollard, yeah. back to your point, I think if we go 7-3, and three, we win the division. Or not to win the, the division. division. No, 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 not win the division. We win, get a wild card spot. So we have to play uh, Arizona in the wild card game? Uh, if we were yeah. to win it, or we could Rockies end up being tied with it. the Brewers and the Rockies. No, Rockies are going to blow it. They've been falling out. Yeah, it, yeah they have been. They really have been. Um... I, yeah, I don't know, man. It's I mean, it's exciting. It's definitely exciting. I thought they were dead. I'm, I'm kind of upset that I'm getting my hopes up for this, but... Um, I'd like to... You guys can keep talking, but I'm going to pull up a groomy message I received a couple days ago. And it seemed very re- re- uh, relevant. It was from Adam Kleffner and Ronnie Beller. <laughs> it said, Why do the Cardinals keep giving me hope that they'll make the playoff? Just blanking lose already. <laughs> and they are. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, like that's how I felt last year, like And they didn't make not, the playoffs. How I kinda of feel this year, I don't know. So what are you trying you to they're say? They're not gonna make the playoffs again? I'm saying the Cardinals keep you know, having I know, these but seasons you... where you know, brinkmanship, Teddy Roosevelt, like they're on the brink of making the playoffs. <laughs> that's wow. not brinksmanship. <laughs> Mr. Yeah. McCarthy will be very unhappy. Shout I'm out sorry, to Mr. Tom. McCarthy. Shout out, yeah, shout out. Mr. Sorry for not Tom. saying hi to you. You said hi to me. He's totally going to listen. Speaking of Cardinals, is Johnny Peralta dead? I haven't heard his name in like, I was about to say, you, uh, he was with Pawtucket for a little while. <laughs> and then they dropped him from the minor league too. <laughs> he went over three with like three strikeouts in a minor league game. <laughs> I hope he plays for the um, Gateway Grizzlies or the River City Rascals. He's probably in the Red Sox organization. He was. No, so it seems like dropped. all of our all of our washups just go. He did. No, he Cra- did. They Craig, 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 Descalzo. Yeah. It's like Tony Williams. Hazel Baker. I wonder, is Hazel Baker still on the team? Because I know he signed that free agent. He is, but I don't think he's had that, that good of a year. Um, oh, so I was watching uh, Victorious the other night, and I just had to bring this up. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a good, it's a good I feel song. like I feel like Chuck has all this scripted out. Like, he like, no, <laughs> well, mm. just like, he oh. just has these... Has these well, things. my sister is watching it for the record, and so I. Uh, hey, you nothing, were watching. Nothing could be honest. Hey, Chuck, nothing wrong with the man watching below Victorious. Yeah. Just calm down. All right, can, all right. Can, 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 so it was the episode good. when uh, what's his face, Psychowitz, uh, is depressed, and I don't know. That, just seeing this like made me so happy, and I just wanted to share it with the world. In Psychowitz, they're crazy. Psychowitz depressed makes you happy. No, 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 just the the whole, how funny the whole thing was. <laughs> Not the beginning. So okay. Psychowitz, their teacher, is depressed, and they confront him about it. And he's like, oh, I broke up with my girlfriend. And uh, they, so they think he's depressed about that. And so they, like, hold auditions for Psychowitz's new girlfriend or whatever. And but they're, like, trying to pretend like it's an audition for a play or something. And Psychowitz sees right through it because, you know, he, 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 you know. He's very weird. He's a smart guy. He's, he's on top of his game. Even though he's, he's like Pollard. Pollard. Just, he just gets things right away. And, and he's like, are you trying to get me a new girlfriend? I'm like, yeah, we, you know, we wanted you to cheer you up. It's like, oh, I'm not saying. He's like, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sad about my ex girlfriend. She was disgusting. She was a witch or something like that. He's like, I was just, I just miss her pet bunny. <laughs> so they're like, <laughs> so they're like, wait for it. So they're like, okay. And so they get a bunny and like release it in Psychowitz's room, and he comes and gets it. He's like, oh, what, what is, what are you doing here? And they're like, we got you a bunny because you miss her pet bunny. He's like, oh, it wasn't a bunny. Her pet was a cat named Bunny. 
<laughs> and Rex is like, you crazy. <laughs> Rex the Rex, Rex, Rex like always added on to the joke. Like the, the joke was always super good and then Rex came in and just made I love a Rex. Walk. Rex had a mind of his own. Okay. I'm just thinking, what was the name of the dude? I Carly. They would always sell the things on the stick. T Bob! <laughs> Where'd you want bagels on a stick? But then he like he didn't put it through the whole hand on the side <laughs> One time he had tacos on a stick. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and the taco like stuck. I love Tebow though. He looks like oh my god. All yeah. of Spencer had all his friends yeah, tacos. Sock. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Taylor, who was a Taylor. Who's? <laughs> 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 Oh my, oh my god. Nickelodeon has the best characters Dude. for all TV show sitcoms. It's, that's true. Oh my oh god. My god. <laughs> I forgot he didn't go through the hole the bagel he did a turn, turn on He side. went through the side of the <laughs> bagel. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me think of the episode of Drake and Josh. With oh the oh yeah. What they do with their... Spherical! <laughs> <laughs> It's spherical. Spherical. I repeat things for emphasis. Emphasis. Remember when he's on the weather show and he like starts to sweat? He's like, no, no. But it was the day. It was the time they were getting their driver's license, and Drake's got like the blonde, like really hot driving lady. Like he runs over, so he's like, oh, it's okay. He just made a mistake. Oh, yeah. And then Drake drives over. And over. Then, <laughs> That's Josh. That's Josh. 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 No, and don't talk about Oprah that way. <laughs> Josh, you got this old grabby lady, like he does one throw the wrong thing, she like hits him. He's like, ah! He's like, ah! You know he makes that noise. Right? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Who is the creepy guy who worked with him at the movie? Creepy Steve. No, 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 the other one with like the wig. He's like, oh, oh there's oh. a wig in the toilet. Oh, what was he's like, no. <laughs> no, like at the end of the scene, he's like, got it. Do you, guys, do you guys remember the first episode of Drake and Josh ever where uh, Drake's girlfriend, whenever Drake wasn't in the room, would be like, <laughs> flirt with Josh? Yeah. Oh, the yeah. actress that played that girl no. is married to David Eckstein. What? Yeah. The voice of Ahsoka Tano oh, on Star Wars. And, and the she's the voice of Ahsoka Tano in. How would you know this? On Star Wars, the Clone Wars, the best show ever. Her mother taught me fifth grade. What? Oh my god. Ashley Eckstein is. That's the, actually crazy. Ashley Eckstein. That's Dude, actually she, really First crazy. of all, Star Wars, the Clone Wars, best TV animated show ever seen. All right, that's you, you, SpongeBob. Yeah. Oh, we gotta start talking about SpongeBob. Hold up. I'm looking up the character of Drake and Josh. <laughs> Character. Drake and Josh is my favorite. No movie. way! <laughs> Look who they have is Crazy Steve. It's Spencer from iCarly. Megan. Megan. We are on a podcast. Oh, right? yeah, I can't show you guys. They have Justin Timberlake as Crazy Steve. Who? Isn't it Creepy Steve? No, that wasn't. I looked up Drake and Josh cast, and if you scroll down. Justin Timberlake, Crazy Steve. He's not crazy. I know. He was not even in the show. Um, God. That show's so funny. I remember there was that one episode when... Whoa, take it some, easy. Yeah, oh, it Whoa, was that one. Take it easy, where the man. actress, there was a different actress who played Helen and the whole episode was just completely different. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was it. That just made me mad. Do you guys remember that episode where Drake and Josh had a competition to see who could uh, go on the most dates? <laughs> Oh yeah, Josh was like That's, dating old people, and then Drake actually, Drake actually like ended up enjoying one of them. Yeah, uh, she was a cute girl, and then she message. got mad that good it was a bitch. Yeah. Drake, Drake learned something. Drake, Drake, um, message just something now I'm just laughing. I'm thinking about like life lessons learned. I remember. So did anyone here watch like Good Luck Charlie? Yeah. No. What about it? So like I was watching it. It's like a total ABC, you know, or that yeah, Disney Channel show. show. Yeah. yeah, Total Family Show. It's hilarious. Then there's the episode. Bob's Bugs Be Gone. Yep. <laughs> There's the episode where her boyfriend Spencer like cheats on her, oh. and I'm like ten at the time, and that was like such oh, yeah, a yeah. profound message. I couldn't believe it. He was like, was so hard he was at the him. he was at the mall with some other girl, and he told Teddy it was his cousin. And then when she met the other girl, the other girl's like, "Oh, you're Spencer's cousin," to Teddy, and oh, oh yeah, yeah, dude, I, this this I hated this is damn me. <laughs> Wait, who's Mrs. Daddy? She's, she's the lady the, the next door. She's the, the next door. Oh! 
<laughs> that was always mad at Gabe. It's like the devil child. Man, Gabe was just trying to chill and like play some sports. And watch nah, movies. he was Gabe was a troublemaker. He needed to be put in the best. Place. I like one of the best parts about that show was how like, I, what was his, was his name Pete? PJ. PJ. Oh my god. Pete, Pete, Pete I was over just him. The other day. PJ the vibe. He, yeah, PJ the vibe. It was, <laughs> yes. it was him and like his uh his friend that was like he was like black and he had the glasses. Emmett. 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 Yeah, Emmett. The drummer. Mm-hmm. And he always wore like the uh what are those hats called? Fedora. Uh, no, it wasn't a fedora. Um. Yeah. Look, look it up. Look up Emmett from. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, but PJ like, like he kind of like you thought he was like gonna go nowhere in life, and then all of a sudden he went to KCU and became like the chicken. And he he went, like went to culinary school and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. that was crazy. Chicken. No, the he, one day chicken. He, what Quick, Kane? The where he worked was, was Quickie Chicky. Chicky. Yeah. It's like, and and Quickie was Quickie Chicky, Kane's. No. Or. or. Oh, definitely Quickie Chicky. Cookie Chicky, Chick-fil-A. for real. Chick-fil-A. Not Quickie Chicky. I remember when he, be- he was delivering Quickie Chicky. Remember he became like the therapist for this one couple who he delivered to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was, that was so, so funny. <laughs> no, but I remember when Teddy was having. I was just watching this the other day. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> why are you watching? Yeah, so my why sister you... was watching. Oh, all this okay. Stuff. And there comes to a point where you're actively just watching yeah, it too. Yeah, you, can't, good show. you can't blame. It. Anyway, I'm about to die again, like, but don't throw Claudia under the bus. Teddy's, Teddy's like, uh, or yeah, Teddy's like, PJ, can you, I have a, yeah, an interview with Yale tomorrow at 3 o'clock or whatever. Can you not be here? He's like, yeah, I cannot be here. Wait, I was planning on watching my cartoon at 3 o'clock. So it's like, <laughs> I think a Yale interview is more important than a cartoon. It's like, it's no. a turtle with a briefcase. <laughs> That's a portal to another dimension. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> All these TV like. shows, I feel like have the one thing that are, that's similar is they all have like goofy TV dads. Yeah, like Bob, 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 and then Bob's uh, Bob's. Drake and Josh's dad. <laughs> the Wizards of Waverly Place dad. Yes, I love that show. Sure. It's just a bunch of overweight white yeah. middle aged men, and mm-hmm. there's nothing better than that. Most of them are bald. Yeah, balding. Mm-hmm. Hold on, who or, is the name of Drake and Josh's dad? His got his, his like. Com- competitor for the Weatherman show. Oh, oh, that that his wife was secretly. Oh, there. no, 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 no. Um, that's not that's Bob. I'm talking about Drake and Josh. No, um, I know what you're saying, Drake. Oh, I'm googling a Drake and Josh competitor Weatherman. Um, no way is it gonna come. It's like we don't say that. See, I was in this just, house. And I was like, it's like his hair is like cotton candy. So I was thinking of <laughs> I was thinking of Wizards of Waverly Place and um, what was the name of the Walter? Old Walter's the dad. Yeah. yeah. What was the name of the oldest, oldest brother in Wizards of Waverly Place? Was it so black hair? Sure. Oh, I think I know. You know who Justin, Justin. Justin, yeah. Well, His so, career just went for a turn. Well, no, a funny story about it, actually. So, um, my, some girl from Corriezu was at church, Lord and she Mike. recognized the actor. Jo- Justin, the actor of him, was at church there Saint, in yeah. St. Louis. What? So she went up to him and was like, hey, um, you're the guy from Wizards of Waverly Place, right? You're an actor. She's like, yeah. And he's like, yeah. And she's like, well, I go to Corey Would you come in and give a speech about being, like, Catholic while being in Hollywood? Because she ran to him at church. He said, yeah. <laughs> so he came in, and my sister has all these videos and stuff. And he came in the Corey and was just, like, partying it off in the, in the, uh... Bruce Winchell. I, yeah, I just got Bruce it. Bruce Winchell. Bruce Winchell. We don't say that name in this house. But his hair is like cotton candy. Anyway, sorry to interrupt you. Yeah, well, yeah, no, yeah. I just thought that was, like, a really funny thing that this guy from Witches of Waverly Place, he was, like, kind of irrelevant now, was just up at, um... <laughs> was just up at Corey's and just like dancing, the, like not just partying up and gave this give gave speech and stuff to all the people there. That's cool. That guy's career really did go for a turn. Oh, you didn't poop? need that. Father's going to poop for everyone yeah. oh, listening. I don't know why he was like like he was like trying to be secretive, but he like whispered to the was like, I have to go. Now he locked himself out. You knew, you knew your career went for a turn. You guys, you, better, you guys better not talk about me. We won't. Okay, okay, you, you can listen and you'll find <laughs> out. Yeah, yeah. We shan't. Okay. Okay, so no. I have just the funniest story about Pollard. Pollard. Right. Actually, don't even have like I don't know. Justin. So Justin from Wizards of Waverly Place. You knew his career went for a turn when he was like in Grown Ups Two, but he only had two lines. How bad of an actor do you have to be to be in Grown Ups Two but only have two lines? The, the deer that peed on their elk that peed on that Adam Pollard. Sandler had more. He had more screen time. Had more screen time, time than Justin from Wizards of Waverly. Place. Oh, he was a talented actor too. Justin was. He was all right. I wish that. Show, I wish all like 
Disney kind of took, took all of their stuff, like all those shows, off of uh, Netflix. Like they had Wizards, they had uh, Good Luck Charlie, I think, still on No, I actually like just recently went on Netflix and searched Disney, and there's a lot of stuff on there. Is uh, it the Disney shows were mm-hmm. just the best? They yeah, Nickelodeon, yeah, yeah, Disney. Yeah. yeah, they were. They were like really especially uh, Victorian. Dude, the Disney oh. shows were like my first act of like rebelliousness, like towards my parents. Cause my parents were like. Drake and Josh is so stupid. Why do you think Zoe 101. Dude. It was hilarious. Zoe 101. Oh, uh, that show was like... Dude, like, I just... Dark horse. Every day, every time I was sick, because, like, from, like, 6th to, like, 8th grade, I'd get, like, once a year, I'd get, like, the flu really bad, and I'd have, like, a fever for a whole week, and I just... I remember, I'd, one time it was Wizards of Waverly Place, one time it was, like, Good Luck Charlie. Like, it was just, like, each time that happened, I always was like, oh, I'm gonna sit down and watch, like, a whole Disney show. And, like, I, like, I flew through Wizards of Waverly Place. And they opened, they had the sub shop. <laughs> the sub shop. Do you when they the... want a dog, and uh, uh, the dad says, we need to go cups, and they think that he says to go pups. No, I didn't, I never do you, watched it. Do you remember that? Or no? I, 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 never I mean, you're saying that, I kind of remember that. I never watched Wizards of Waverly Place. Oh, it's a good show. Sure it is. No, uh, remember Jade's impersonation of Victoria? So I talk like this. <laughs> <laughs> Nick does it really well. <laughs> She's like, if Victoria was like, I gotta go to the theater, and she's like, Oh, I have to go to the theater. No, that was a bad one. That was a bad. We're, we're gonna edit that out. But Just not forget. actually. No, but remember the creep, the really weird guidance counselor named Lane who always had to like wash his hands with hand sanitizer, kind of like James. Oh, he always had to, yeah. Like, you know, do Chill. that. Chill. We do. Chill. No, that's right. It's true. I'm just laughing because when I was in, when I was in Columbus with my little cousin, continuing to drink out of a year old theater. Yeah, that's disgusting. Nick's drinking out of a year old bottle of uh, power. Like it was here last time during the pause. No, but there's a show called Live and Maddie that my little cousin yeah, loves, and I, I I mean I swear I was sitting there for like f- like four hours just next to her like I watching it. Why? What do you mean you wanted? I was watching it. What? What? I wonder why you're watching it. Whatever, just keep going. We actually are going to have to edit that out. Jesus That's Christ, Charlie. Charlie. I don't even know how to edit stuff. I hope Adam knows how don't to. Don't edit. Just, this is one take. Okay, whatever. Well, so. Disney Channel shows now. Liv and Maddie. The Austin and Alley. I mean, Jake Paul isn't a Disney show. Oh, Bizarre and Mark. Right. That show That's how you Jake know. Paul. Okay, we're switching to Jake, Jake Paul. Jake Paul is not number that one. That dude... He needs to get his act together. I'm worried about him. Like the only like, person I'm, keeping him afloat is Nick Crompton. <laughs> okay, like I'm gonna be honest. I'm all for like YouTubers and stuff making money. Like I think that's an awesome like field to be in and like you know doing your own thing. Like it's like being an entrepreneur. It's like owning your own business. I think that's really cool that there are people out there that are like like Bobby Crosby. Or... <laughs> Nick, there isn't even a trash can in here. I thought, yeah. That's a chair. Whatever, whatever. No, I'm all like I'm all for I'm all for YouTubers like making money like Bobby Crosby and stuff like that. But like um, just, um the way Jake Paul handles himself is just such a bad way. It's such a bad look for other YouTube vloggers that are doing their thing. It makes me it's just like I can't even cheer for the dude. Like I don't know what I'm gonna it's do. It's estimated that. that Jake Paul makes fifty k a day just on video views. That's that's. And then he also makes advertising. That's crazy. Money. Plus he's probably still making money from that Disney deal too. Yeah, he's gonna get paid for that for a while because he got fired. Without, without, Ooh. without reasonable. And thoughts, James too. Pollard did. Oh, 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 hey, James, welcome hey. back. Looks like you're just gonna have to listen now. Yeah, to you gotta listen to the podcast to find out if they talked about you. It's ter- awful to be. We're cutting. We're cutting some of the stuff that I that I said. We can't. We can't. I mean, we, we can. can. It's all one thing. Oh, I just time. wanted to cut my burp at the beginning. I no, didn't realize that's we're not that. That's I didn't realize we're that's how we're drawing people in. Okay. No, we we're just talking about Jake Paul and how like he's really putting a bad name to YouTube vloggers and how like we're all for them being entrepreneurs. It's Tessa Brooks, the competition. Yeah, I just read a New York Times article about Jake Paul actually on Snapchat. Was it fascinating? Uh, yeah, it was. They did an interview. These boys up on me. I mean, it's interesting to see how that family has like gone big. I, I don't know. No. He didn't even graduate from high school. High school. No, I know. Look. Well, funny was he tweeted out. He's like, he tweeted out today. High school is whack. He's like, they don't teach you how to do anything, um, like like doing. balance and stuff. But oh, then like know. the dude on the video I was watching was like, well, you never even graduated. So how would you know? So like you didn't even finish out your final year, two years or whatever. 
What? You're talking about Rice. No! Keemstar. Uh, Keemstar. I hate Keemstar. <laughs> Let's get right into the news! Um, you look like a gnome. Yeah, so just, yeah, that's just kind of what I'm saying, but, like, I mean, I think it's a cool field that's, like, opening up now that's something different that, like, that's, like, brand new to us. Like, this isn't something, like, where people are streaming and making money until now. So it's, it's fascinating to see how this stuff's working. Oh, I Tigers guess. just announced that Brad Osmus will not be Cardinal should get him suspended. Not really. Yeah, that's when you need another former catcher. <laughs> oh, I got another topic. For all of these viewers who do not have Hassan Whiteside on chat, Snapchat, you need to change that right now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> who Hassan... killed this Paris? <laughs> Hassan... Hassan Whiteside has got that the guy, funniest oh Snapchat God. ever. Like, he'll do, like, every hey, now Hey, OGs. <laughs> About to have a storm coming. Tom Cruise, take care of him. Better take care of my OGs. Yeah, so he's got a bunch of uh, koi fish in, a, in like a pond because he lives in Florida because he plays for Miami. He calls them the OGs. And he's got like a gigantic uh, koi fish <laughs> that he calls Tom Cruise, and he's like the leader of the koi fish. It's like, Tom and, like, Cruise, take care of him. Dude, when the when the hur- when Hurricane Irma was coming, he was like on Snapchat. He was like, "Look at Tom Cruise. Look out for my boys. We about to evacuate." And I'm like, "Why are you warning fish about a hurricane? This doesn't affect them." <laughs> I mean, it kind of does. And he comes back. So I guess it's kind of like a tornado for fish. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) jeez. Oh, jeez, weather the storm. Yeah, but none of them died or anything. Tom Cruise, I'm going home. So we're just very, I mean, yeah. Also, so he found a dead parrot in his yard. He's like, who killed this parrot? (laughs) And he goes, oh, he's like, he goes over to the OG. He's like, yo, OG. Did you see anything about, you know, did you see anything funky last night? OG, I gotta ask you a couple questions. And the OG swims away. He's like, we gotta run him. We gotta run him. And it was funny. It was very No, it was really funny. And then he goes, goes like, and sees, like, a bunch of parrots at the zoo or something. And he's like, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but a few weeks ago, I found one of y'all in my yard dead. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, that was so funny. I really recommend following him. No wanna, blood marks on the wall. you just want like I feel, somebody... like would, I feel like that guy would be like super good friends with designer. Oh yeah, maybe. Yeah. He's a new designer, honestly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> um. <laughs> um. Can I just say to the viewers, right quick? Uh, if you want to see a video of. Of uh, us four prank calling slew teachers from the pulse room. Please leave a like on the vid. Comment with the. Uh, oh, definitely, yeah. So we're next one next yeah. Friday. Please like, comment. Oh, we're not school Friday, Friday. but we'll, we'll record it Thursday or whatever. Should, we should, should, should we do a teaser call to Mr. Hannock right now? <laughs> do you want to? Hold on, wait. Hold on. Check out Mr. Hannock's in his office. We have Mr. Divas's phone number. We can just call Mr. What is it? Divas. Yeah. yeah. No, no. Should we have his actual phone number? Oh, yeah, 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 his actual phone number. Should we do that? Yeah, yeah. Paul, read it out loud to me. Read what out? <laughs> oh, no, we can't leak the number. And right. Should we... So, star 67, star 67, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna feel so pranked. Wait, He's gonna show me... So... Oh, wait, show me his number so I can, like, simultaneously... Uh, cool. Yeah, yeah, one sec. Only one sec. Um... Yeah, so one so uh, one of the pulses in the future, maybe not next week, but pretty soon, we're gonna we're gonna do like just we got we got all the extension numbers in here and stuff because we got a phone, so we're just gonna prank call like all like not all of a bunch of teachers, nothing like bad or anything, just like kind of for fun. We should prank call Mr. Let's do uh, we'll, we'll do a teaser right now. We'll teaser on Mr. Davis. We should do Mr. McCarthy. This is not staged, by the way. No. What are you gonna we're say? Speak. Sure, sure, sure. We gotta disguise our voices. We have to say something. Sure, sure, sure. I put it at star 67. This is just disappointing if he doesn't answer. We're, we're going to have to do it without star 67. Or should we leave him a message? Hello, you've reached Steven. I apologize that I couldn't answer your call. If you would leave that message, I will try my best. That's still like proper and stuff. God bless. Have a good day. God bless. Beep. Hi, this is a uh, Gecko Insurance Company, and uh, it seems that you owe eight million dollars for your car insurance. <laughs> please, uh, pay, please pay us within the um, next six months. Is your refrigerator running? <laughs> then you better go catch it now. Ah!
Hang on. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing I've ever. I've yeah, ever well, it works better they, when they, they answer the phone. Really botched that. No, that, yeah. he's yeah. never gonna pick up again. Gecko insurance. Yeah, gecko. What? Gecko. It was. <laughs> Do you mean Geico? <laughs> Oh Dude, wait, we've got our extension. Nick, what's our extension? It says the pulse on the uh, phone. 2243. So if you have any calls, don't call up because this isn't live. Uh, what, Nick, one day we'll just do a live video and we'll just take a bunch of calls and answer questions. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Sure. Cool. Bad. I eat bread. So, hey, does anyone know what the original date of the fall ball dance was? Because they moved it was the 20th. Oh, so they What is it now? First. Whoa! First of October. October. Oh, I remember like, last year the Cubs. Nick, me and Charlie. Nick, Nick, me and Charlie are going. I'm uh, not going. Steven, uh, with Zach. Zach. Steven, Zach. Do you guys read the credits in the prep news today? No. no. The question was, who's your favorite Steve? Because we all dressed up as Mr. Missy, and Steven Zach said Bartman. Oh um, my gosh, dude, Steve Bartman. Even if like he would still get like shot. If... No, they're, they're okay with him now. No. no, but there's no, there's definitely a few crazies out there. That... <clears throat> I mean, I'd still be pretty mad. I definitely would not. He didn't do anything wrong. Yeah. I mean, he did. I mean, not... No, no, I am of the firm belief that he did nothing wrong. No, he did do something everyone wrong, was going everyone else... Everybody was going No, no, no. No, it's not that everyone else no, was no, going No, no, no. What everyone else is doing is not an indicator of morality. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying, like, in terms of... Just because everyone else is doing everybody it, was anyone was going to... Just because anyone else was going to do it doesn't mean it's the right thing. You're still... Okay, but Moises Alou completely overreacted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, he definitely did. He threw a little hissy fit. No, I know. And I mean, I could Steve Barber does not deserve for like his name to reign in history. He he's not. I mean, I'm just. I mean, I'm just regurgitating everything I saw in the thirty for thirty about it. But like, he that was he's, a great he's not the one that made the error. The shortstop, Alex, uh, whatever his name was. Alex can't feel the ground ball. Yeah, Alex Mejia. Yeah, no, they, they blew Mejia. the game. They so bad. No, they still blew the game. I just the Cubs fans needed someone to blame. <laughs> Steve Barber. It's was not there. his fault they lost the game. It's no, it's not his fault. He had to go into hiding. It's not. It's <laughs> not bad luck. That's true. Cubs just suck. It's true. That's true. Oh, I stink! God, it stinks. Dude, Steve's like Cucks Steve's like for his box. goat day. Um, Am I right? You can't say that on. You can't say that on at school. I didn't say any curse words. I just saw it on a T-shirt. As they say in Columbus, Ohio, muck fish again. <laughs> I kind of just said that exact same joke, James. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to learn how to cut stuff. Just uh, I'm gonna edit that out. Mm-hmm. Maybe not. Miss, I'm gonna ask Mr. Davis. I'm gonna after this. I'm gonna go straight up to Mr. <coughs> Actually, I'm gonna hold up. You guys t- hold. I'm gonna see if, if I don't wanna have to edit anything. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell him what I said and see if I can keep yeah. it. Also, also, also gonna... tell him that I burped. Mm-hmm. Oh no, we're leaving that on there. No. And you farted too. Should we, we just, no, I did should we not. Just wrap it up. Uh, no, nobody wants to listen to the, to, to to us debate whether or not I farted. I, it's true. I was here. If you wanna wrap it up. Should we? We can wrap it up. Alright. Okay. YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. Oh, wait, no, that's the intro. That's the uh, Wrap what up? YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. No. Pulse. Pulse. It's been good. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. We don't actually have any of those accounts. No, we have Twitter. Twitter. We have and Twitter and, and YouTube. YouTube and Instagram. Follow us on the Instagram. YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. Subscribe to us. Turn on post notifications. If we hit 200,000 likes, Charlie will make a video with his shirt off. We will chop. Debatable. Dude, we will be back on Monday. Rich Mahalski's movies. Be ready to go. Um, <laughs> bye, bye Chuck. Later. Anything, any final words to say? Me? Be true and be you. Um, oh, wow. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I heard that. Happy summer. birthday, Bilbo Baggins. But not happy birthday to Michael Beam. I hope it's a very Stay classy, San Diego.